the development regarding the Kyle Rittenhouse case. And I think I spoke about this on my podcast a while ago. Um, and at the time, if I'm not mistaken, I made I might, I might have made like two videos or three videos back to back. And if you if you remember at the time, I think when I did make those videos or I did make those clips, no, when I did speak about it on the podcast, obviously I clipped it and put it on my channel. Um, at the time, the information I had made it seem as if this car Rittenhouse kid. I think again to just give you some background, this kind of happened during the whole like um george floyd sort of um you know fallout i think it was it before george floyd anyway there was a lot of racial tension happening in the united states during that time and if i'm not mistaken this might have been the jacob blake thing when the dude was in a car the black dude was in his car he got told to um put his hands down something he went back to reach into his car and then the cops shot him from the back and now he's paralyzed remember that dude right and i think that kind of led to more riots happening in all parts of america and obviously people were burning down businesses and she's just doing some really mad mad stuff in it and then i guess in the during all this turmoil this car written house kid 17 at the time um went to this place where this process was taken and basically went under the guise of trying to protect local businesses and also to help clean up graffiti, you know, whilst carrying a gun because he wanted to keep himself safe or whatever. Who knows the details of that sort of thing? But the most important thing, what the media tried to portray was that he was basically going around shooting people, right? He was basically like a mass murderer sort of vibe. I thought they were kind of spinning it as like protesters were kind of going at him and he was kind of just basically shooting them at will. And obviously when the first bits of footage come out it did kind of seem that way and the whole they were painting him and just a media narrative around it i kind of you know i like to think of myself as a smart guy but even i got kind of drawn into the way the media was spinning it and making him seem like a i don't know like a social like a psychopath or something it was just flipping insane but then as you started to see more bits of evidence i'd see more video and clips and whatnot because those people were flipping live streaming the protests that were going on what you end up seeing was a kid that was a def essentially defending himself um from a mob who essentially did want to kill him because a few of them did have guns a few of them did have you know weapons like a skateboard and shit that could have easily knocked him out and whatnot caused really severe injuries and he was effectively trying to defend himself and unfortunately in the pursuit of defending himself he had to kill two people right along the way and i think that's just, just the you know i guess it's the unfortunate consequences of living in a country where people are allowed to carry guns if you can defend yourself then the unfortunate reality of it is somebody might die i don't i just don't know why some people are not realizing that i think it's the same case with covid it seems like some people have got in their head with covid that we want to get to a point where no one dies anymore it's like that's never going to happen we're going to limit the numbers so it doesn't it doesn't get exponentially worse and it's not going to be a strain on our medical services but there's never going to be a period of time when there's going to be no deaths whatsoever if this is as serious as people think it is there's going to be some people who unfortunately are going to be just be unlucky in terms of their genes or whatnot or their past medical history where they're just not going to be able to survive getting COVID. So I think people have kind of had the same thinking. I mean, for some reason, they think this kid carrying a gun isn't meant to use it if somebody is chasing him and trying to beat him up or hurt him or you know, basically kill him or what, what, or whatever it may be, especially when he's on his own. It just didn't make any sense. So the video comes out, they have evidence, and it's basically clear now, especially when the court case, because he's in court now, that's why the headline courtesy of the BBC it says here, Carl Rittenhouse accused teen takes a stand in his own defence. We'll quickly read this before I continue. It says, US teenager charged um, with the shooting of three people during a civil unrest in the States, uh, streets of a concert last year has taken to a stand uh, prosecutors say mr rittenhouse 18 was looking for trouble last night sorry that night the teen has pleaded not guilty to all charges against him but the entire case was thrown into jeopardy on wednesday when the defense called a material sorry mistrial after the judge angrily accused the prosecution of improper questions for the defendant mr rittenhouse facing counts of reckless intention um attempted homicide as after he shot two men dead and wounded up in the city of kenosha uh, right i think the one he wounded dead was the one he shot in the bicep the one with the skateboard he's, he's i remember the video his wrists were limp completely it's like if i'm not mistaken i think he blew out the majority of his bicep he probably doesn't have anything there it's probably all gone um but again it was a fucking mad shot because i think he was on his back you think he shoots one guy in the chest and then the other guy shoots in the arm like the kids are fucking marksmen it's a right as i erupted in the streets of the city two days earlier after police shot a black man just at jacob blake uh, mr rittenhouse had traveled to the city from his home in illinois with a cemetery rifle in tow he said he sought to help protect property from the rest of the streets and obviously there was the other business people who said they didn't ask him to do so and he kind of went out of his own volition so 
Um, da, 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 da. Oh, so let's just sit here. Could take a standing risky move for defending in the trial. Mr. Ryan said, I didn't do anything wrong. I, did, I defended myself. Describing Caesar with a careless injury, he said that he had heard people shout to get him. Video showed a gun toting teen shouting, friendly, friendly, friendly to the crowd. The person that attacked me first threatened to kill me, he said. Um, um, said uh, he said of Joseph R Rosenbaum, who people aren't really saying out loud, but this guy is basically, <laughs> if I'm not mistaken, he's a registered pedophile, right? He's the one that legitimately raped kids and he got, I think he, I don't know why he was out, but he was out for whatever reason, maybe he served his time. And he's the one also, the, the little ginger, I think he's also the same good dude that said the N-word when he's kind of um, trying to get out of this car written as kid when they're outside somewhere, I'm pretty sure. So he's not the, you know, again, not the person that you should be kind of, you know, um, trying to fight for in that regard. But hey, we move for. He said he told the jury that he believed Mr. Rosenbaum was carrying a chain with him at one point, uh, though he later learned it was a plastic bag. Um, I think he had a plastic bag with a painting or something. He had something he was trying to hit the kid with, innit? That might have been the one that was excessive. He goes to hit him with a bag, a plastic bag, and the kid shoots him in the face or in the chest twice. It's like, boom. The judge called for a break of the main reserve person to tears after he began to describe the jury members before the fatal shooting. His mother also seen sobbing in the gallery. Upon his return to the stand, the teen said he had nowhere to run at the time. I didn't intend to kill. I tend to stop the person who was trying to kill me and trying to steal my gun. Mr. Rittenhouse said he shot and killed Mr. Rosenbord after Mr. Rosenbord had laid a hand on his rifle. A video from the scene shows the teen fought to the ground as he was chased and Mr. Rose Rittenhouse said he led to fear even more than they identified Mr. Hover, the second person who shot hit him with a skateboard of course yeah that that's a kid that's also bait i think this skateboard kid be, hits him with a skateboard hits him with a skateboard over the head then just to grab his gun then as they're in tussling then obviously he shoots the guy and obviously he goes down he said mr gage ghost this ghost screw this bicep dude um said he wounded him in the arm he had pushed him with his pistol point in his head and then i think he did a, he tried to do a slight thing as well the third guy where he tried to put his hands up and then tried to go for the gun again and obviously written house for whatever reason this guy must walk flip him be a you know call of duty guy because he immediately saw the flinch and then kind of shot the kid straight away in his arm da -da -da. So, in conclusion, with this case, it's another case, again, of the media spinning stuff in a way to kind of um, get the public all riled up, to also get the public to essentially crucify somebody who quite clearly was defending themselves. But in the grand scheme of things, this dude is a, you know, he's a he's, he's the biggest dork that, you know, that ever has, I've ever seen. This is a... I say this level of dorkness, if you're 17 or 18, is similar to like kids who are really into politics, right? Go into a state you don't live in or a place you don't live in. Again, it doesn't matter what, if you cross state lines or not, Chris, I don't care about that detail. But he doesn't live in that area. He went and traveled there, um, supposedly because he works there, supposedly to clean up graffiti, whatever it may be. is a real dork move, right? This idea that he went out there to be a kind of, a, what, a peace cop. Um, to police the neighborhood, to help businesses that had, hadn't asked for his help, that he has no personal connection to whatsoever, was so lame. Again, the height of darkness. It's like 17, 18 year olds doing political debates and shit and going to climate change rallies. You know what I mean? You're 17 and 18. You should be getting your dick wet. You should be out there getting drunk, taking loads of drugs, falling around. Like, why? what are you doing taking part in flipping protests like this? Like, what, what are you doing? Really, what are you doing? Complete loser in that respect. Um, you know, doesn't need to be said and now of, of course off the back of this he's going to turn into some sort of right-wing hero right he's going to be on all the shows that you heard of because everyone on my social media feed who's basically praising him and talking about how innocent he is is obviously a right-wing nut not right-wing nut but you know those right-wing sort of like media grifters and then on the other side of people who are saying that he should be in jail and he's crocodile tearing are the ones who are on the left who have no concept of actual what reality is actually like right because these people legitimately think he should just let the mob beat him up potentially kill him potentially fatally you know injure him in a way or you know injure him to in a really bad way just because he had an he had a bigger gun than they did it doesn't make any sense the whole point of carrying a gun in the first place is to protect yourself if somebody does come within a you know a space where they can maybe cause you bodily or harm unfortunately the consequences are going to be grave the other person's got a gun that's just the kind of the reality you accept living in America, and it? it just is what it is. That's why most people with sense probably don't want to live, live there full time because if you get into an altercation, it could be fatal, right? It could be fatal. It could be deadly, right, to some extent. So that is basically what ended up happening. And of course, I'm um, you know, unfortunate event. I think the first dude that died again, no one's gonna cry any tears if you raped kids. Could give a shit. Could 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 care less really. 
the second guy with a skateboard i think got engaged or married recently or something like that so it was sad to see his girlfriend i think at the time if i remember his girlfriend or someone was sobbing on tv that was bad to see but again why would you go hit somebody with a skateboard who's got a gun when you don't have anything dumb move um the guy with the the guy that got shot in a bicep again he tried to play a funny game and said you know i'm not going to do anything put his hands up and he tried to pull for his gun you know you try to play the game you got burnt it is what it is um but again like i said the kids are dork you know there's nothing dissimilar to people like this than the kids that go to climate change rallies when you're that age you should be trying to get a dick wet you should be listening to loud music driving around you know falling around getting arrested for shit you know for actual like you know young people shit like putting on house parties and stuff whatnot in elite in airbnbs you shouldn't be going out there trying to be the i don't know the protector of small businesses in your neighborhood at that age it's just it's just the most lamest thing i've ever seen in my life but you know these kids on the internet they just grow up too quick they're either so they're either super politically engaged or they're super super advanced when it comes to you know sex and relationships and stuff right they're talking about my man my this man my boo my base like ugh, mate honestly just get blackout drunk smoke a bunch of weed do a bunch of coke and just you know live your life that way as opposed to fucking you know, going around with your semi-automatic weapon trying to, what, police a rowdy bunch of people. Because, you know, you put yourself, again, there's an element of, like, so purposely putting yourself in the line of fire. Then when it blows up, trying to cry foul, I understand. But the way the media spun this to make this guy seem like he was a flipping school shooter was disgusting, to say the least. And I kind of got drawn into it. So more likely than not, he's going to get acquitted. More likely than not, he's going to be found not guilty on all charges, especially because, you know, some people have kind of changed their testimony or whatnot it's definitely going to go that way and just the idea the, the premise he was key he was kind of put in the stand for is definitely not what the evidence has shown and some people still can't get their head around their head wrapped around it he was clearly defending himself there's kind of evidence even being shown in some, in some cases i forgot which one it was but there was one case where it looked like he got actually shot at first and then he kind of you know replied back with his own fire but because he's obviously an expert marksman um his ability to kind of spin around in a dime and shoot somebody you know his ability to do it from his back and shit like you know the guy's fucking a beast when it comes to that sort of stuff there was people were basically unlucky um they kind of had, had to come across a kid who clearly has been practicing with his rifle and his weapon for a very long time again unfortunate events not gonna cry for the first dude second dude don't attack somebody with a skateboard who's got a gun but again r.i.p and then the third dude lost the, the, the function of most of his right arm kenny wank who knows who knows who knows